Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Village. This is episode 16. Last time we fought two large axemen, which ate up a whole lot of bullets, and then we finally entered the Stronghold, which I guess is not actually Heisenberg's factory. This is a separate area that seems to be the home of the Lycans, now that they're not part of the village. Which means we might be fighting the Hammer Guy? We haven't actually seen him since the start of the game, but... That would mean that this is its own area, and then we go to Heisenberg's actual area. Though he said that the flask is here, so who knows if he's full of shit or not. This must be their den. Okay, so there are a lot of lichens in here, which means we don't want to stick around. Because we don't really have enough ammo to take on all of them. Let's see if I can get a bunch of them with this barrel. Shit. Almost saw him coming. Like, the shotgun will one-shot them, if I can get him close enough. But I'd prefer to get more than one of them with the shotgun, you know, like, get them in a line like that. Okay. Let me just stand here and be your punching bag. Trying to stick with the pistol and save my good ammo for when there's more of them. Okay, I think that's the first wave. Make another one of these. Make some more handgun bullets, more shotgun bullets, shells. And pipe bombs would come in handy here, so we'll make one of those too. Because we have a little stack of them. So heal. Make sure my grenade launcher is actually loaded this time with correct ammo and everything. And I think we grabbed everything that was down here. Oh, nope. Pipe bomb, first aid. Wow. That other guy did not get softened up at all. Come on, I was mid-push-away animation, and he grabbed me. And then he got another hit. Okay. So they're just going to constantly attack now. There's no pause between swings. Huh? That guy was closer to dead than he actually is. Like, you took most of the shotgun damage there. Okay, let's start making our way in, because they're just going to keep coming. I'm assuming they will keep spawning until we kill the, uh, the armored one. Oh, you actually survived that. See, I don't know how I blocked him there. I think that's like a perfect block, is you automatically shove them away. Without them getting a hit in. Okay, we just need to go. Okay. Didn't think I'd be able to get hit in that animation, but uh, that was all my health in one free swing. Motherfucker. I mean, they are dropping a lot of crafting supplies, so we can kind of keep making stuff as we go. 
But we want to rush the big guy. Okay, big guy. See, I was going to do the same thing as last time, except now my grenade launcher's loaded. Uh, but now I'm standing in the middle of all of them. These grenades don't have a great AoE, it turns out. Whatever, let's just get everybody down here. Okay, I can't drop down there, that's why I got grabbed. I was like, that's kind of shitty, but whatever. You see him push past the other guy? That's how eager he is. These guys are definitely more aggressive than they were at the start of the game, though. Like, they've gotten faster and more reactive. Big man down. Oh, he ducked right as I shot. And that's all my sniper ammo. Also, they appear to still be coming. Out of shotgun, out of sniper, out of pistol. Not good. I literally have one shotgun shell left and some grenades. That's my entire arsenal. But there's only one left. All I needed was one stab. Okay, if anybody else shows up now, I'm fucked. The music is fading. So it seems that killing the big armored guy actually did stop them from spawning. Well, that was, uh... That was a lot of enemies. I'm hoping they don't have multiple rooms like this, or I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. But we can also buy some more ammo if we can find the merchant. I guess it makes sense that there's no merchant in the uh, werewolf fortress. Okay, they're still coming. We need to go. We need to not be here. I don't know why I didn't get the shove. Chem fluid, chem fluid. Lots of fluid. Fluids are important. Stay hydrated, kids. Magnum ammo. Since the Magnum does extra damage to lichens, that seems like something we want to hang on to for the boss. If there is indeed a boss. Though it would be kind of weird if the werewolf man never came back after showing up in the village. I just wasted a heal. Well, I didn't waste it. I kind of need it, but I just used to heal when I meant to crouch. Why is it only that the vases in Domitress Castle can be broken? It seems like any other ones we've seen, you cannot knife. I'm curious how many goats I've missed, like in areas I've already been. I feel like I've been pretty consistently finding them, but there's probably one or two that I didn't hear. You know, with all these people they're eating, you would kind of think that this population is not sustainable now that the village is dead, because it wasn't exactly a big village. So, like, They'd have to roam pretty far to find more people to eat.
Then again, this also seems to be the other half of all those torso-less legs we've seen. Werewolves prefer to eat the top half and not the bottom half. The king's orders finally arrive. Withdraw. It is most vexing that we must abandon the border stronghold to those heretics. If I had but a little more time, I know I might be able to turn the tides of this battle. Nay, I should not put on airs. It is my curiosity that ties me to this place. There are a number of ruins in the vicinity which the locals say are very ancient. The ceremony site with four giant statues, the cave with murals carved on the wall, the stone plinth they call the giant's chalice. Where did the people who built them come from? Where did they go? It irks me that we must abandon this place without knowing. So I'm assuming that's a, a note from whoever built this fortress originally. You know, whatever kind of knights were here before. But that does raise the question then of, well, who did build the ancient stone structures? And what does that have to do with the giant fungal colony underneath this village? Because we know now that the squirming roots that we saw when we encountered Chris in the reservoir was a sample of that fungal colony. Because we saw more of those roots underground. That's not good. Oh, there he is. I think this guy's name is Urias. All right, big man. I guess it's time to dance. Oh, he's fast. He's fast for a large man. Might not be a good place to get a photo of him because it's very dark. But then again, bump up the brightness, turn the vignette off. Eh, still not great. I gotta get him to turn around if I want to get a good shot of him. So, uh, do I fight or do I run? I'm pretty sure I have to fight because this seems like a very small arena I'm trapped in. Oh, okay, he's got that attack too. Man, those block upgrades are really something. One thing I hate, if you have blood on your screen from getting hit, there's no way to turn that off when you're in photo mode. Like, turning off the vignette and everything does not get rid of it. Oh, good. <laughs> Craft ammo also doesn't go away. We're going to get one good picture of this guy. This might be the one. So, that FOV tool I have, I could also use it to turn off the vignette effect completely, but I don't really feel like I need to. It's not, like, noticeably intrusive in the main game. That's, like, four hits I blocked now and I'm still in green. Wow, he really does just have the axe move set identically. <laughs> he doesn't even have his own boss moves. Well, I have trained for this. Oh, that's new. Is he gonna fucking huff that pillar at me? He also is very much a Bloodborne boss. But then again, Bloodborne has a lot of lycanthropes and lycanthrope-adjacent creatures. Yeah. 
We definitely cannot ignore these guys. Wait, did I block that or not? Uh-oh. Uh. I can't believe that worked, but yeah, running up to him made it and throw it over my head. I just can't believe how much damage I'm tanking with block. Should have been blocking more. But like I said before, I tend to assume that I can't block the really big attacks when really Ethan could just block anything. Some of them will still do a lot of damage, like I think Lady Domitresque attacks Oop. do a lot of damage, but... It's still less than you would take from just... Ah, oh, fucking goddammit. Can you believe I actually did that because I was trying to hit Quick Turn and I hit Control instead instead of Q? I should use the Magnum on him. Pretty sure that's why they gave me two rounds. As like anti-werewolf ammo. Okay, you gonna go call for more backup? You big baby? Turn around. Actually, you know what? This is pipe bomb territory, especially since we have five. Okay. Run. Quick turn. Huck. He kind of killed them all already, but... How many of these can you take? Fuck that I just get hit three times by one like him. Okay. He swung over my head when I did block, and then I stopped blocking and he got a big fucking hit on me. Crap. Ammo's still not doing great here. That's one way to avoid the jump, just run towards him. Up yours. That's the achievement. I know you can see the achievements because this... <laughs> eat shit. Even better, Ethan. He gives me a crystal hammer instead of a crystal axe. So yeah, that wasn't really a, a full-on boss. He was kind of like a, a side boss, even though he was story-based. We really didn't get anything about him, though. Like, who was he? Why is he the boss of the Lycans? And the answer, I guess, is just because he's got a big hammer. Also, crystals. Mold crystals? Like, fungus crystals? Welcome to the Crystal Mines. All we have to do is bring in a pickaxe in here and start chipping these off. We'll make a lot of money. So is this just quartz? Does the fungus for some reason turn into quartz? No, oh, hold on. There's something else in this tunnel. But nothing else in the boss room. There's two more up there. Crystal Fragment, Vivianite. Still more. Okay. 
kind of like walk slowly backwards while looking up. Can I like break a chunk off of these? Oh, there's another one. And that's it. Why was that room there? We have no idea. I mean, even in RE7, you really don't get a lot of explanations for what's going on until, like, the last third of the game. Which people say is the worst part, but, like, I actually like getting the, the sci-fi explanations for this stuff instead of just, oh, it's just magic mold. You don't need to know more than that. Okay, there's the flask. There's a baby torso in here. Okay. That didn't happen. What? But why are we remembering it? You're the real deal, Ethan. Well done. Quit hiding, asshole. I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more, and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange... In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. I'll see you. Damn it. So this really wasn't that significant of an area, but we did get the last flask, so... I guess some big progress is going to happen when we go stick that back in. Ethan's going to remember something that... He knows already? Guglielmo's plate. Is that one of the other founders? Man, we have a lot of treasure now. Antique plate that was treasured by Guglielmo, one of the four founders. So not all of them had chalices, just most of them. All right. Oh, that was the uh, treasure under stronghold. So that one's just a freebie. Now we can boat out. I wonder where this boat is going to take us, though. Is that treasure right there? No, that's just the handle for the light. I was like, is there a, a gemstone next to it? But yeah, I did expect that to be a longer area, just because, you know, it's a big-ass fortress. Also weird that we didn't run into any of the big lichens there, either. I wonder if there's only three of those in the game. Three? Four? I think we fought four. One in the village, and then the ancient one in the village, and then the one we fought with the revolver. I think there was two when we got the magnum. Oh, this leads to the gate behind the church. Okay. Where does this go? Is this... Castle Damatresk? Or just looks very similar to the torture chamber in her Castle Damatresk? Wouldn't make sense for it to be connected, because that's all the way up the hill. Photo of a phantom fish. Well, we already got that fish. Those photos really weren't that necessary, except the bird one. There was no way I would have noticed that bird otherwise. Kadu implantation notes. Subjects 174 through 181. Subject 174, Mihai M. Characteristics 21, male, silversmith. Scars from pneumonia. Results, low affinity. Kadu failed to grow. Body transformation, drop in cognition. Another lichen. Sent to pasture. Subject 177, Bernadette B. Characteristics, 21. Female, no occupation. No history of illness. Death. Subject 181, Alcina D. A.K.A. Alcina Domitresque. Characteristics, 44. Female, noble descendant. 
not from the village, hereditary blood disease. Results, very high affinity, no loss of cognition, arbitrarily able to control body transformation. Applied cognition control procedure, sent for observation. Okay, so it seems like there's a connection between having illnesses already and being susceptible to the Kadoo. But then they also put some kind of mind control in there, too? So that she could be controlled by, I guess, Mother Miranda? Similar to the control plaga in RE4 and 5 and 6. I guess they stuck with that plaga thing for quite a while. And another one of you. I'm still hurting on bullets. So that's everything down here. But why is there just a random dungeon? Like, under the village? It's not even connected to anything else? They just do these experiments all over the place. Okay. So I think that's all that's down here. We got a lot to talk about with Duke. Okay. So we emerge out here. I'm feeling like we're pretty close to the end at this point. I mean, we still have to go to Heisenberg's factory and then deal with whatever Mother Miranda has going on. I don't know if she'll have her own area or not. Still no update there. So much for it being their main base. Also, did I get... There's a goat on this roof. I don't remember if I got it or not. I guess goat is got. There's just a perpetual, like, clicking sound in there that makes me think there's one around. So now, we gotta go to the altar site. Also, if that altar is ancient, why does it have the perfectly sized holes for these flasks? Are these ancient flasks? Is that why they're so dirty? Even though they're... Apparently recently used to put it's rose in them. It's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. Especially after you keep feeding me. Seeking something in particular. So yeah, all we need here is fish, which means the meat I've is all just stock. crap to sell. So, oh, we do have one fish. Well, the rest of this we can sell, because I'm pretty sure he doesn't get any new recipes. This is just, like, extra. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna feel very silly, but I can't see why it would be like, oh, you're completing my recipes. Well, here's another thing. Don't let up yet. So I guess we found that fish in the mill. In the meat stack. I've gotten some new stock. Okay, sell all the crystal fragments, the large crystal, the Vivianite, and the yellow quartz, crystal skulls, the perfect crystal skull, crystal hammer, giant crystal axe, Father Nicola's angel, Guglielmo's plate, and that's it. That's a lot of money. Aha! We have almost 500,000 now. Now, he says he has new stuff, but of course, it's just the same thing every time. I don't know why that bug is even a thing. I'm gonna buy more shells. Saw you eyeing that one. Okay, so he does have a limited stock of ammo as well. Let me... Does it come with the compensator still on it? I guess so. It keeps whatever mods you sold it with. Well, we'll buy out the rest of his shotgun stock and gunsmith. Aha. 
I can't remember if upgrading a weapon actually does fill out the ammo. I think it does. Leave this to me. Please come nope, again. apparently not. If it's just looking, window shop away. So yeah, I guess uh I'm skilled at all sorts of I don't know, maybe I should keep spending my money like I just have so much that it feels like it's going to get wasted if I don't start spending it now. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. But again, rate of fire and reload speed just seem like wastes. I don't think we're ever going to be popping off that quick, even against the final boss. Get reload speed, I guess. That's actually useful. Even with the big-ass ammo capacity. Alright. What kind of secrets do you got for us? Just take the whole thing with us, I guess. What? Are we just gonna take this to the ceremony site? Because again, I feel like doing that, we are just playing right into their hands. Like, all right, we assembled all the pieces of rose and now put them in the chalice and place them in the ceremony site. Hmm. Though Heisenberg's area is also in this direction. I mean, where is he on the map? Oh, he's up there, and it's crossed off for some reason, even though that's not the factory. What's going on? Now, it could have been an explosion, but it could also be rumbling of the fungus. Getting antsy. Well, I guess I'll just plop this on here. Giant stone chalice that fits into a pedestal. There's room for four flasks. Temporary measures. Okay. It's an ancient elevator. No explanation of how this works. <laughs> then again, some of the later Resident Evil games are full of, like, ancient mechanisms, including a, a giant ancient tribal laser in Resident Evil 5. Powered by the sun. Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your ass across the bridge. Don't worry about the pulsing heartbeat or anything. That's not unusual. And Ethan, of course, is like, Oh, I gotta save Rose. Oh, I'll just leave Rose here, whatever. Also, it wasn't as noticeable as Chris being voiced by Carlos's voice actor, but Heisenberg is actually voiced by Nikolai's voice actor from RE3 Remake. So they really just wanted to reuse a lot of actors here. Probably because they're non-union and Capcom doesn't like paying union fees. I don't actually know that they're non-union, but I'm assuming. Nothing is more like? reassuring than someone telling you, Oh, don't worry, it's not a trap. Not at all. Nothing to worry about, Ethan.
I mean, like, these kind of shots, I feel like blur is a little more fitting. What if I turn the vignette off and the blur on? I, I can't tell, really, if that looks any different. <laughs> All right, well, we've reached the factory, which means we're probably pretty close to the end of the game. But yeah, he's just got like tank bits and everything out here. Big old junkyard. I'm guessing Heisenberg is not from the village either. I don't think any of the actual lords are from the village, except maybe Moreau, because he had the, the clinic. He just wanted to join in on the party. Then again, the Beneviento household seemed like it was kind of old, at least with the grave and everything. Ethan, I'll buzz you in. Just make sure to hurry up. But yeah, he's got like these electrical poles that are not connected to anything. There's no wires. So we're going to save as soon as we find a typewriter, because this will probably be a whole thing of its own. Unless Heisenberg's area is just cut down because we had to do the fortress as well. That's going to be locked. I hadn't noticed it before, but you can actually hear Ethan's shoes when you do a quick turn. You hear that, like, spinning in place sound? Okay, there's gotta be a typewriter in here. Chem fluid. Actually, doesn't seem to be much of anything in here. Hmm. What's all this, then? Baby? Mia? Chris Redfield? A bunch of close-up shots of dead enemies? Is that a rat? Everyone's crossed off except Mother Miranda. So, clearly, Heisenberg was doing some plotting in here. Oh, I gotta... <laughs> Examine it. What the hell? Mia? Truth hurts, though. <sighs> Chris, what the hell? Let me guess. Your thing. Take me out like the others, and then he gets to go and save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, you, you, you got the soul wrong. Shut your fucking hole! Sorry about that. Quit your revving down there. Take a seat. Can't even turn off blur and cutscene. <laughs> it's a bit of a facial expression he's got going. Hmm. Take a seat, Ethan. Listen. Ethan, you're being played. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? I said sit! <laughs> Hold on, gotta get him. Center frame. Oh, okay, that's actually a better one right there. Gotta have at least one screenshot with Heisenberg in it, or one thumbnail. Lady, super-sized bitch. Ugly, a psycho doll. And then we're on a freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. 
But I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain, well, fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak, I swear to God! Where that he pronounces it Miranda. You and me, then. Together, Two against the world. The rogues, and we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you! My daughter is not a gun. <laughs> Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. It makes scary motorcycle noises. Crazy fucking propeller head. Oh, those are chainsaws, aren't they? <laughs> propeller chainsaws. So much for saving. Whoop. Nah, there's no way I can get a good photo of that thing. It's too dark in here. Whoop. Probably a fair assessment to say that thing was created by Heisenberg. What was that thing? He seems to like tinkering. I'm sure we'll see old grinder face again. Just hopefully not until next episode. And that's where it came from. Considering the general technology level of this village, he has to, like, import all of this trash. <laughs> okay. Cyborgs. Hey, can I have some of your zombies? I want to try something with them. The future is now. With those VR headsets. They are just the same enemies, just with more stuff bolted onto them. And some, like, post-apocalyptic junk axes of the kind you'd find on Etsy. Alright, I'm just gonna end the episode after the other side of this tunnel, because I'm sure it'll checkpoint. And I think we've been going for a decent, like, this is gonna be a pretty long LP, even with these long episodes. Like, in terms of episode numbers, probably going to get up into the 20s. And people said this game was, like, six to seven hours in reviews. Like, yeah, maybe you're playing on normal and you're skipping everything, like a reviewer tends to do. Also, this is a pretty neat looking area right here. 
lot bigger than, uh, than it looks from the outside. Also, mass-producing, like, drill arm people. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have a bunch of enemies with robotic bits strapped to them in this area. But, thank you for joining me for some more Resident Evil Village. We didn't really get too much of a big story reveal this time aside from, Hey, your daughter is also a really powerful weapon, especially against living things. But, until next time, you all take care.